Is, it is Darude Sandstorm because Darude Sandstorm is the answer. Is every song ever? What song name? Yep. Darude Sandstorm. Yep. Song name? No, it's Rick Flair. You've, you've never heard of Darude Sandstorm. We should react. We should do like a teams react type thing with Dave. Dave watch reacts. the watch the music video of it. Dave, Dave reacts to Darude Sandstorm. Have you seen the music video? Yeah, it's so oh it's my just, it's god! Just people running through like a city and doing like parkour and, and it's just this guy like sitting, sitting on a train and even on, but I'm just gonna be like this anyway. Yeah. If you smell, he's like sitting on a pyramid to start. He's, he's, he's always sitting down, like he's sitting in a train and then he's he's sitting in the same position. He's sitting like that. What glasses. what am I thinking of then? When that guy's like, well, there's two people running. Well, they through. are. Yeah. The, yeah then they come back guys. to this guy just run, just sitting down. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's sitting um, on top of it. Yeah. Can you stop wanking the microphone? Uh, is that what you gave up in January? Huh? Yeah, she literally had a dry January. Are we on now? Yeah. Oh, hello. Paddy had a dry we've, January. We've been on for like a minute and a half now. I had a dry 20, 2014. <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome back. Yep. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for one fall. The first one of 2015. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. It's exciting times. Indeed. It's Just watched exciting. Hellboy. It was two. shit. Hellboy 2. Cool, Never seen the first one, so. And it was shit. First one's good. Was yeah. it really, though? Well, if you're into like that kind of uh. anti hero, I think. Yeah, Hellboy, climax. Hellboy's a, a good one. <laughs> Oh, oh, he he wants to be like, yeah. to follow. like Batman. He's an anti-hero. Stone Cold. Because he's kind of chaotic Steve neutral. Austin. Although he doesn't kill anyone, Batman never ever kills anyone. Yeah, he's more not Vegeta. Not, more, not deliberately, Vegeta. anyway. I'm just firing off anti-heroes. Nothing. Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dave doesn't know who Vegeta is. Oh, he knows. I don't even. That I don't sounds like a Mexican dish to me. Well, it's Mexican, like, like he's named after a vegetable. Just oh. the veg the name just vegetable. What, is he a cat? His brother's called Tarble. And it's a Vegeta and Tarble, so it's a vegetable. Yeah. How great it's is that? It's not a cabbage, it's a carrot, kakarot. Kakarot. It also sounds Napa. like somebody going down on someone else. Vegeta. Vegeta. <laughs> oh great. Well, it's probably <laughs> that's probably accurate. Thing. He gets it. Uh, are we gonna like a lot. do like a proper introduction or we yeah, just Proper introduction at the King Date on Twitter. Recently discovered that I have a page on Facebook with over a thousand likes on it. Yeah. It's exciting, so I'll share everything on there that's ours. Just yep. plug it. Yeah. Although apparently it's just loads of like Spanish guys. Yeah, they don't understand. <laughs> just loads of Spanish people liked his page. Hola! <laughs> like in the last month as well. Yeah. What literally, is a th literally a thousand five hundred Spanish people just love it. Hola, Shouts out amigos. to them. Hey. Hola amigos. Buenas nachos. <laughs> Means good chips. <laughs> good. Yeah. Thank you for that. Okay, it means good Doritos. <laughs> That's what I thought, but I didn't want to be racist. <laughs> racist. Just racist. That's the topic of this to week. With. Racism. Yep. Well, well anyway, yeah. do an intro. I've at, introduced myself. At Sid963 on Twitter, Bobs. Don't I recently discovered that. my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty right, then. Um, at Derby Gagan on Twitter. G O G H E G A N. I have yep. no idea what. Dave can never remember his Twitter yeah. tag. Dave, well, I don't at contact myself that often. At <laughs> Dave underscore still Dave. Oh, yeah, Home yeah, run. That what he said. Anyway, first topic of today: nachos. We've already covered that. Yep, nachos. Second topic of today: cheese that's not yours. Fossil fuels. Nacho cheese. <laughs> but 
fossil fuels. Fossil fuels. <laughs> well, this is going to smell already. Goes yes. from dinosaurs. Dinosaurs don't turn into birds, Martin. No. They turn into petrol. Coal. Yeah. The truth. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. Birds so did help evolve me from dinosaurs. Petrol did evolve from uh, shellfish. Oh. Well, it depends. Yeah, I know. Yep. Petrol actually comes from oil. Yeah. Which, which technically is trees that have broke down. Really? Well, I've seen this, speaking of trees, seen this thing. Um, I think it's any organic life, actually. Yeah, yeah, it can be shellfish, that's why I said it. Fresh speaking of trees, shell. I've seen a tree today. Did you? Yeah. You've seen a what? In your back garden. A tree. You've seen a tree? Yeah. Really? Yep. Guard- yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy has a tree. I've seen tree I trees. I am Groot. I am Groot. Speaking of trees, I've seen this post on Twitter or something the other day, and it says, uh, if trees gave out Wi-Fi, we'd be planting them all everywhere. But too yeah. they give out the oxygen that we fucking breathe. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. I've seen that for quite a while ago now. So oh, yeah. See, there's, there's, there's an advert for genetically modifying trees to give out Wi-Fi then, isn't there? <laughs> but yeah, but the place where the most trees are getting cut down, there's no one there. No. There, there obviously is. Sticks. There obviously is, because there's somebody chopping them down. Well, yeah, but they're... <laughs> <laughs> but well, they could quite easily probably all be like on their way to their fifth. Well, you don't have stuff. to. Do, do you know what I mean? They got four G on their phones. So. Obviously, the the trees that they're cutting down don't need to be Wi-Fi, but they could have like two trees that are Wi-Fi down there. They wouldn't cut them if they were Wi-Fi anyway. Yeah, just for like that lost tribe that ain't even got phones yet. <laughs> yeah. They've just discovered fire the other day. Eh, Wi-Fi? That was racist. What is <laughs> what is Wi-Fi? <laughs> Anyway, my bum, my bum is whiffy. <laughs> Thank you for that. I've just been for a shit. That's why. Uh, is that from last podcast? Martin has not left the room in the yeah. last hour, by the way. <laughs> has <laughs> have his yeah. dinner? I went yeah, to get my like dinner, an and then he took. His I went plate to get my dinner. I went to take my plate yeah. back. I went to get Paddy's beer. I'm sorry, I was too busy watching Hellboy and how terrible it was. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking awful. That's an ace film. The first out. one, not the second. Hey, you're hell well. Yeah, I know. I'm ugly. Well, at least Dave knows where he stands. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Banter. Too much. Too much banter. Anyway, how was how was the start of 2015 for you, Dave? Shit, really? Was it? Yeah. Well, I think the last time I had a podcast, I was I was really happy. Yeah. Because. Nah. Nah. Had I already said that the bastards had. Yeah. Fucking dumped me, and never even said why. Mm. Wankers, I fucking hate them. I hope, I hope their company goes bust. I really do. And sooner the better. We won't mention any names. It, well, no, I won't. Good. But we'll stay in a it's good a packing point. company. But they're just a bunch of wankers. It's a pack of lies company. Pack of Ooh. lies company. I hate them though. Sick burn. Pack of wankers. Remember that thing I said Martin earlier on the group chat? That was what? a sick burn. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't remember oh. what you said. I haven't got Wi-Fi here, actually. I've got a little app on the the, the iPod. Yeah. That's, that says, it's like, would you do this for how um, however much money? Oh, right. What so would you do? Yeah. It's like a yes and no thing. Yeah, kind of. And I sent, I sent someone to Martin. You sent one to me, it was like, for six million pounds, would you live <laughs> the rest of your life wearing only clothes from 1990? And I, I would. Ca- I captioned it saying, it free would. money, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no sacrifice. He's doing it for Sick free anyway, man. isn't he? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how the clothes that I'm wearing were like popular in 1990. Hoodie! Because you bought changed. them in 1990, Martin. <laughs> hoodie! <laughs> What's wrong with the hoodie? Who wears them now? Every fucker. Um, You're the only person in the I'm room not wearing a hoodie. It's a hood. Yeah, but yours is kind of a Christmas hoodie. What the hell's going on there? <laughs> It's got reindeer. It's got reindeers it. and Christmas it trees on it. Has been Christmas. It's February, for God's sake. It's February now, but Christmas I'm living. Hoodie. I'm living in 1993 Christmas. I still think I'm Ho Ho Hulk Hogan. This is the Christmas <laughs> special we're doing right now, though. Yeah, yeah, actually, exactly. That that's one there is. This is going to be the Christmas special because that's how long it takes me to fucking edit these things up. That's a Noel yeah, Edmonds not, hoodie. I've still got two from I don't before care Christmas if it's to Noel edit Edmonds up. Hoodie. Yeah, I rate it. Online. Jeez. I like my Noel Edmonds hoodie. I'd wear this for six million pounds. So has anybody ever watched on Dave 
the <coughs> I've never watched anything Alan like Davis show. Oh yeah, as yet untitled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's don't good. Have Dave. Sometimes you don't have Dave. Don't have Dave. It's right here. If it's on Sky and you don't pay for Sky, you won't be able to watch it because you have to like phone up Sky and say, "I want Dave." Oh well, you need to subscribe, which is a lot of bullshit. Yeah. I thought Dave was a free channel. If you've got Freeview, yeah, on your telly, mm -hmm. then you can watch it for nothing. Oh wait, so you can get it on Freeview? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Retune your box. By yeah. that, I don't mean, like, get a tuning fork and, like, smack <laughs> it off your nutsack. <laughs> Why would you smack a tuning fork off your nutsack? Retune your box. Of all... Oh, God, for fuck's Jesus. sake, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's no fun when I have to explain things to you, Martin. Well, don't say stupid things, then. Anyway. Meant I always say anyway. I never have anything to diverge from, so Anywho. I don't know what I'm going to say now. Anywho... Anyway, Martin, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, I got cast today. What'd in, you break? In <laughs> <laughs> His little heart. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! On form. P-A-double-D-Y. Because I got it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. But uh, yeah, we had um, a rehearsal for Witches of Eastwick. And we had auditions like two weeks ago. And they couldn't cast all the parts. Mm-hmm. Because obviously as long young lads that auditioned for Michael were shit. Not enough plaster of Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then you broke your arm. Yeah. <laughs> My arm's broken. That's why he's cast, because he broke a leg. <laughs> well, you told me to. Mm. Did you tell me to break a leg? Well done. What did you get cast as? Um, a 30-year-old called Homo. Homo? Homo. <laughs> Homo. <laughs> Homo. <laughs> 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 Homo. <laughs> Homer. Homer. <laughs> Don't. The perfect role for him. <laughs> right, and it's really weird because, like, I was looking through the script earlier. I've not, I've not got one yet, but I was looking through the script earlier, and it was like, according to the script, I'm married to a person called Marge. <laughs> That's quite ironic, because I, I think we had on one of the previous podcasts about the time you went to Ibiza with your mum. Yeah, and said I was Bart <laughs> <Got> Simpson. <lost. laughs> said you were Bart Simpson. See, the sad circle. thing is, though, with, with like um, the Homer and Marge couple, is they're not called Simpson. Which is quite disappointing. What are they called? <laughs> Fart. <Yeah. laughs> you just stop bloody <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Jesus. Wind, Windy Miller. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most disgusting <laughs> podcast we've had so far. It's uh, terrible. It, I mean, is, you should, uh, really shouldn't do that. And now you're sniffing the fur a bit on the mic. That's just even worse. It's, it's called a muffler. Yeah, you're, st <laughs> you're sniffing your muff. <laughs> Sick bear. Muffler. Jesus Christ. Do you like my dinosaur on the mantelpiece, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I like it. I made that. Did you? Yeah. You, don't, you never I put my mum on the mantelpiece. She wouldn't fit. Yeah, your mum wouldn't fit. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> I wouldn't fit on the mantel piece. The mantel piece is small. What kind of dinosaur is that? A dead yeah, one? A wooden one? Yeah, thanks, guys. That's really <laughs> helpful. <laughs> but I think it's an Allosaurus. Yeah. It's the one with the thing Alan on didn't it. see us, though. <laughs> but if you look what I've done, see, I've, there's kind of a, a theme going there because there's a, an ammonite shell that he's actually holding as if he's pushing. Okay. I hadn't even noticed that. That actual shell... Here. That actual shell is about 65 million years old. You can't prove that, though. You can't see it. You can't on the disprove podcast. it. Take a picture of it and post it. <laughs> I'm not taking a picture of it now. Oh. Take a picture of that. You take a what picture of it. I don't know. Is something productive? Um, probably not. I was. You were. <laughs> really? Bloody hell. That's a Who the hell are you and what have you done with Paddy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> don't worry about it. See, that's. Do you know what? He's been off the drink a whole month, and his brain cells are starting to work properly now. And he can't. Ha he can't. He can't right, you wait till by the end of this podcast, it'd be back to normal. Yeah, he can't, yeah. He can't fucking cope with it. That's he won't what it be is. doing anything productive by the end of this podcast. What it is, is he can't cope with like not being like having some form of alcohol running through his system because he's had a month off. I'm not an alky man. I'm not saying you're an alky. It sounds like too it. much blood in your alcohol system, boy. I was gonna make that joke. I was just waiting for the time. That's oh. the thing, though, because fast you last. Mm, oh. I suppose. What the hell? Anyway, the thing is, I have to tell people that I don't drink and that. It's like, why? Well, you're not an alky. It's like, 
Oh, just because I haven't drank over the past month doesn't mean I was an alky. Doesn't mean I have to be an alky to stop. I agree. He's looking at me in a way that of disapproval. He's the head of an AA meeting. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I never have accused you of being an alcoholic. Am I just on the defensive? Yes, you are. <laughs> Had too much alcohol. So <laughs> it's kind of uh, you've got too much alcohol in your blood system. It's like, it's like you're feeling guilty. No, it's just annoying about your previous drinking that. habits. At how Christmas often did, did you drink? drink a, at Christmas I did drink a lot. That's why I stopped. Right. How often did you drink? Once a week. Right. I drink twice a week normally, Probably except this week because you only went out this once. Because I was watching my uh, Marvel movies. Right. Catch up. Catch up weekend. I did. But I'm usually at the pub every Friday night and every Saturday night. Yeah. Piss out. But man, I'll tell you, it's a very, very rare occasion that I'll open a can up in the house. Yeah. That box of cans has been there since Christmas. Really? Not not yeah. right there not since right Christmas. There, no, obviously. <laughs> they were in the shed yeah. until the other week when my mate Kenny came back home with us. And that mm. was them. No homo. Was it last week or week before? I think Tuesday. it was last week. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Was it? Yeah. Wow. No, it was the week before. No, it was last week. Whenever it was. It was last week because it was last Saturday when I was on air. Does it really and matter? Was, it was last Saturday because I was on air until nine and I stayed at the station until like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's just that I just thought it was longer than that. Nope. But anyway. But Fortune Cookie doesn't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Anyway. When I was still with his mum, we were living up Exeter. I had that rough end of town cans that would sit in the fridge right through till um, July, August, September. Until my brother thought, "Fuck it, I'm drinking them." No, until your uncles came round the house. I was out at work one time. I came home, and uh, I thought somebody had said, "Oh, we're having a party at the weekend." I went, "Oh yeah, I've got some lager in the fridge." So we'll take that. Got home, and his mum's two brothers had come round and tanned all my lager. So I was annoyed about that, and I said, well, you're going to need to get me some back. Now, bear in mind, it was Carlsberg, right? Now, at the time, Lidl hadn't long opened. They went over there and bought me, like, 45p cans. <laughs> so, I mean, it was like, Fucking what's hell. this piss? I don't think they were 45p. It was like 3.2% or something. My Carlsberg was 4.5. I'm like, that's just, what? Jeez. But see, now, now, a lot of the lager that you buy in cans now, the government has deliberately dropped the alcohol content. Right. Deliberately. Are they? Yeah. Mm. So that you're paying more for your lager, for your alcohol units. Right, yeah. okay. And so you're not drinking as much alcohol as what you think you are. And it's a kind of a placebo effect. Yeah. You know yeah. like when you go into a cafe and you get sugar now? Mm -hmm. The little sachets of sugar, they don't hold a spoonful of sugar. And it's a guilt thing. If you put any more than three in your cup, you think, well, people are watching me put all this sugar in my cup, and they're thinking, geez, oh, how much sugar are you put in there? But three is not even two spoons of sugar. Because <laughs> I've measured it. Oh, yeah. Not scientifically. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a spoon out from these cafes, and you, you can tell the difference because they give you smaller spoons now as well. Really? So that you know. if you do happen to pour it onto your spoon, it looks like a full spoon. <laughs> Just bring one from home. But... Before. Why the fuck would you want to do that? So you know how much sugar you get. Yeah. But, do you know I mean? Because everybody used to say to me, eight sugars, that's terrible. It wasn't eight sugars, but. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. Well, five sugars in that, six sugars in that. If I get a McDonald's, and you know the big cups they've got, yeah. mm -hmm. I have about eight in that. Right? Fucking hell. Because it's quite a big cup. It's massive. Compared so, to like a cup of tea. But yeah, it is. I have four in that cup there. Yeah. Well, that's a massive cup. That's like a fucking chalice. Yeah, but that's about as much as what a um, McDonald's cup holds. Mm. About the same amount. Maybe McDonald's is just a little bit smaller. The big cups are um, 800 millilitres, I think. I'm not sure. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, that's nearly a litre. Yeah. I don't think that's right. The small cups are only Why 700. Why are you answering my text now with a no? Because I felt like it. How stupid is that? <laughs> Only <laughs> Martin. I sent him a text way back earlier on, around about six o'clock. <laughs> he said once you've browned off the meat, take it off the heat and cover it. 
You just texted me no. Well, we've already eaten it. Take it off the heat. We've already <laughs> eaten it. Cover it. Take it off the heat and cover it. So I've done it, and I'm just texting back saying no. Cover it for the three can. Oh. Anyway, I sent Martin a very useful link, and I sent Gagan the link as well. And Martin was buzzing off the link. So expand on the story, Martin. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this was the other day when he sent us um, a link to see which of your friends have liked Britain's First. Britain oh, first. Britain's First, yes. Oh yeah, I've seen you like, yeah. talking about that. Yeah. yeah. So I, I went on it and the people that I thought, actually I can live without you, got, got rid of off, off my Facebook. I got rid of, when I first went on it, I got rid of all of the people on Facebook because I was like, if you're going to be like that, I can't live without you. I'm an upstanding man. You can't live without I me. can. I can't. That's, that's the lack of alcohol, you see. Yeah. Now that it's he's had some, it's catching up on him. That was the song in Hellboy 2, wasn't it? I don't know. That's the song that he was playing. What? No, was it? Can't live without you. Is that the bit where they um trying to get Abraham drunk? Yeah, Barry yeah. Manilow song. Yes. Can't yeah. live without you. Oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. But yeah. yeah. You, so you got rid of all page. of them. Yeah, I did, I, it took me a while because fir- actually the first time I did it, I didn't get rid of all of them because I had a few people on there that I liked a little bit. Hmm. But then I realised after a bit of a while, I was like. Is there any point in having these people on here? Because I don't yeah. actually like them anymore, due to the <laughs> fact they like that page. I only had two people. I two, only had about seven. I only had about I'm seven. Yeah, I haven't had about I've seven. I've never done it. I've never done check. Mm. No. Obviously, I, I had a quick look on my Facebook here and on my phone. I don't. I don't have a lot of data allowance. It's only mm. two hundred and fifty meg, so mm. I don't tend to go on to Facebook and like comment or anything. I just usually yeah. go on and have a look. So I didn't. I didn't follow the link. No, that's fine. But I was going to do it when I went to Grand's and I forgot. Idiot. I think we should actually talk about what the page is about. Yeah, probably. If, if, if you don't know what Britain know what First is. is, Britain First, if you don't know what it is, you don't need to. Just just stay away from them. They're bigoted racists. Well, no, because I think people should know that that is out there so they become less of a... Less of a... Accepted <sighs> thing to like that page. Well, basically, yeah, they, they become... Come up, they, it's like they share, like, things. bullshit things, like, oh, this, this, um... It's like that story about the, the World War Two veteran who, you know, fought for the country and he killed loads of Nazis and whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's having to sell his medals to to eat and live because, like, the government won't, like, look after him or whatever. Right. And they share that so that people get, like... People are like, oh, yeah, they get it's like, it's like the sympathy vote. And then it's like, you know, fucking who, Muslim. Who would not sympathise with that anyway? Exactly. I mean, it's like, I get I that. Mean, you don't like, have to be a racist to sympathise with that. No, mm-hmm. but it's, it's like the they thing use that. Drag them people in. Yes, we've got them liking our page. So that gives them more um, profile, doesn't it? Because mm-hmm. yeah. if you like it, your friends will see that you've liked this page. And, and they'll suggest it to them. Yeah. You, you know, Gagan liked this page. Maybe you would like to like this page because mm-hmm. that's what Facebook does yeah that's how it works but all in all it's just but well maybe it takes more people to turn around and say well look this page is racist and petition Facebook to take it down mm-hmm. but the thing is there's so many people that actually do like it I think it's in the millions isn't it yeah, yeah it, doesn't, so it doesn't matter how many are on it doesn't, it doesn't make it right it's an actual political thing as well so I don't think that they'll be able to do it without like massive yeah, massive, whatever's uproar about it. Mm. It's crazy. It. It's crazy how many people liked it as well. Mm. It's crazy, like these people I have on Facebook, and I was like, "What the hell?" I was surprised. I wouldn't name any names. <laughs> there was a lot of them I was quite surprised by. There was um, one I was surprised by. The 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 actual Britain first page has got a hundred and hundred thousand five hundred and forty one likes. Yeah, but that one that we found the other day, where the first is spelt with a U, and it's like taking the piss. It's got 112,383. <laughs> Wait, how many likes it got? The the actual page has got 100,000. 100,000? 100, 100,500. I thought it was over a million. Well, it probably is. I must have just read the number wrong. But yeah, and then that, that fake parody account thing that we found <laughs> has got 12,000 more likes. Yeah. That's that big. It's, it's basically the BNP, uh-huh. but yeah. a lot worse. Yeah. Because where, where the BNP are like, oh yeah, you know, we, we, we love Britain and stuff. They have well, no, they don't. They don't. They don't like Britain at all. They don't like anyone. They don't like anybody. 
Right, but they're all like, you know, we love Britain and stuff, so get the foreigners out. Fuck them off. Britain first is like, kill the bastards. <laughs> yeah, Literally. pretty much. Pretty yeah, much. They are quite, this they're country wouldn't be alive today as it is mm. if it wasn't for all the foreign nationals no, that we have had helping us over the centuries. I mean, it's like prime examples, the Gurkhas. Yeah, and they shat on them, didn't they? Yeah. The British government, mm-hmm. bastards. Mm. Imagine like aliens flew overhead and had some sort of device to see what was going on. In the, on Earth and was like, no, they're still fighting with each other. Fuck not going to use our resources on them, not going to give them anything. They would take the chickens, apparently. Isn't that what we had in one podcast? Hagen <laughs> said the what? chickens would rule the world. Really? That does sound like something I would say. <laughs> but did, and I said, well, if they're going to like think that the chickens are the most intelligent people on, on this planet, then they're not very intelligent themselves. <laughs> Sounds about well, right. I mean, they do their day as... They like to <laughs> go eat a bit of corn, sleep a bit, run away from a fox, you know. Yeah. I seen a fox the other day. Yeah, why isn't chicken shit full of fucking sweet corn then? I know, that's weird. It's just. Do you know what? I don't actually know what it looks like now I think of it. See, that's the. Um, Do you know what it is? It's because sweet corn it's not. out the window. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's bullshit. Sweet corn just passes through your system. It doesn't get digested. It's like, no. most, it's like most vegetables, they don't actually get. Like digested as such. Like I said, I've chewed sweet corn and it's still come out the same shape. For God's sake. It's made by Nokia. You're talking Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> Nokia sweet corn. You're talking shit, Dad. Well, well yeah, I am, yeah. Literally. This guy. Anyway, I think we should address the burning issue of the day. Go on then. What the fuck is Martin doing with a Cliff Richard? fucking calendar <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the Hulk Hogan look, moustache do you reckon he's wearing kegs in that picture <laughs> he's yeah. definitely he's not he's absolutely bollock naked you can see the shadow of his boyfriend at the top end of the pool <laughs> <laughs> looking up uh, his crack really hole all three of them looking up his cloaca definitely to get a picture of that put in the bless him video how old is that guy he's like he's 78 or something he's like nearly 80 I can't yeah. remember something crazy he's, he's old he's in he's his old. 70s He's old. He's old. Ballsack skin. He's old. <laughs> He's had a hundred <laughs> albums in the charts. Really? Really? He's had one hundred yeah. albums in the charts in his career. Jesus, how many bloody songs he made? Lots. And there are a lot of suspicions around him at the moment. Yeah, apparently. No, no, it's died down now. They searched his house and didn't find anything. Well. So he's still squeaky clean. At the minute. At the minute. Wait, what? Basically, what? you know how the whole fucking everyone's like, oh yeah, you know, 70s DJ, he touched me, like he touched oh. me when I was 12. Well, everyone in the, the 70s is a pedophile thing. Yeah, yeah, basically that. And, you know, they thought, who can we get next? Oh, Cliff Richard, you'll do. Yeah. And someone's went, oh, Cliff Richard touched me. Jeez. And there's like, there's no, like, they've had no proof of it. But like, Cliff Richard, like, he was meant to be like, um, like, yeah. A pedophile ring. It, no, he was meant to be like doing a gig somewhere like a high profile gig and he went well actually no until this has died down I'm not doing anything mm. so he didn't want to bring any of these things into disrepute yeah and he was like no I'll I'll, I'll just leave it until it's he dealt, he dealt with the one issue first before he before he carried on yeah. but he can afford to do that do you know what I mean mm. oh, he's fucking minted extremely fuck's sake Martin I got his calendar he's you love got it. his own island near enough <laughs> yeah but I would like to point out that I didn't go out and buy the calendar yeah you say that I reckon you gave Amber the money. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. <laughs> Amber, do us a favour, go and get us that calendar because I'm a bit embarrassed to get it myself. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, I do have to take my hat off to her for actually having the bollocks to go into a shop and buy a Cliff Richard calendar. It's because she's walked in there and I've been thinking, oh, it's for her nan. Yeah. <laughs> she's buying that for her nan, what a lovely girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's buying a nan a calendar. It's not the only thing she got me though, she did get me a book. Clifford Pat bought you, <laughs> bought you a bottle of beer and you're not even drinking it. Are you ever going to open it? I don't think Pat bought me the bottle of beer. I think Pat just had the bottle of beer. Yeah, but he bought it. Like remember, ages ago. And just thought, do you know what? I'll it, give that to Martin. It wasn't this Christmas. He bought it last Christmas because I remember him giving um, Kevin one, Jamie one, Nicholas one, and Uncle Ian one. He didn't fucking give me one. No, not last year. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Maybe he thought you didn't like it, but and then he's had one left over and he's gone, ah, mm, I'll just give it a mine. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, exactly what it is. <laughs> Check That's the date on it. Have you checked the date? Yeah, it's like 2016 it runs out. Oh, right. Well, there you go. Well, most beers have a two-year life. There you go, then. He did <laughs> it last year. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> he's, he's literally just like, 
like see me turn up on Christmas Day and gone, oh shit. <laughs> this guy exists. That warrants a carry on Sid James laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what is the date on your can? I don't know, I've drank it all anyway. You can't drink the date off the can. <laughs> Might have. That's how much I want it. Um, August 2015. 2015? Yeah. Yeah. But I did only actually buy them just you bought them at Christmas. before Christmas. That's unusual. Maybe that's just the back stock that they had. They thought, right. We'll oh, that's why they were cheap then. Yeah. That's why they're selling them off cheap in Asda. It was Morrison's. No, I got them. <laughs> you got, <laughs> the you got them in Morrison's. Silence. Oh, that would explain it even more. Yep. That kill, that's a killer in radio. That can get you sacked. No, that was the lull of silence there. Yeah. I know radio producers, mine. I work for a radio station. Yeah, but I know, know people. That, I know people that know people that... It wasn't a silence anyway. It was a pregnant pause. It was a moment of thinking yeah. before answering. It was a moment of Dave going, Wait a shit, minute. no, hang on a sure? minute. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Yeah. I just thought it was Asta, but yeah, it was Morrison. Cats funny. fell asleep on my shoe. Yeah. Get wrecked. GG well played, scrub. 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 You're a scrub. You're a scrub. You're a scrub. Mate, 1v1 mid. For £5 million, pounds, would you have loud techno music playing wherever you are at all times for two years? No. How much? Depends how loud. Five million pounds. Five no. million. Depends like, how loud. Loud enough. So I don't know if people can hear. Like, it. is it so that you know, like, I have to shout so I can hear people? Well, obviously, if I don't. If it was loud enough that I could hear, that would piss me off. No. Nah. But is it is it like loud that for two years, Martin? Two years. Jesus, Normal no. television level. What well, you have no. your TV on? Yeah. No you'd have it. You'd do that for two years. Yeah. I'm gonna no say way. no on this anyway. 57% of people said no. What the fuck? Only 57? So I'm part of a 43%. For 90 grand, would you carry one of the Twilight books in your hand everywhere you go for the next three years? No. Three years? No. Three years? Nah, that's way too long. Maybe three months. How, do you know what I mean? You physically... What, would you go for a shit and everything? Yeah. To be fair, though, right? Well, I suppose if you started using the pages <laughs> when you go to the toilet, it would get lighter as it goes along. There you go. Although, to be fair, it doesn't say you can't put it in like a brown paper bag. No, it doesn't, does it? No. It just says carry it with you. Just says Let's carry it. Let's just assume put it in a you're carrying it in your hand. Your I think it said carry it in your hand, yeah. Yeah, it said carry it in your hand. <coughs> but you can still put it in a brown paper bag so yeah, but can see what it is. Yeah, but let's not nitpick at it. It just makes it silly. Well, if it's, if it's for 90 It just grand. makes it silly. <laughs> yeah, it just makes it silly. <laughs> for for, for 90 £100 million, pounds, would you travel back in time 50 years and live all your life? Definitely. If I could. 50 years? Yeah. Fuck yeah. No, I wouldn't. If you travel back 50 years, that's all that money obsolete, isn't it? Shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, because then... Well, yeah, because the money you've got today is printed within the last 10 years. Yeah. So we'll go back 50 years and it's not, it hasn't been right, printed so you, yet. So you've got to live out 40 years and then you've got that money. <sighs> 40 years. Jesus Christ. I'm 50 already, do you know what I mean? I don't want to wait till I'm 90 <laughs> to get all that kind of money. Yeah, but you won't be 90. You'll be living your life again. It says go back and live out the rest of your life. <laughs> rest is a bloody one. Important All right, okay. It doesn't say go younger again. For £11 million, pounds, would you dip your hands in a mysterious substance that makes them neon pink permanently? Fuck How it, much? yes. £11 million. Pounds. Fuck it, yes. Would I could I... just buy a pair of gloves. Would you dip your hands in a su substance that makes them neon pink? Just your hands? Just your hands, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, for eleven grand, yeah. Uh, £11 wrist. million, yeah. Yeah. Did you do it, Dave? Buy yourself a pair of sick gloves with that. No one would know you got a pink hand. Just buy yourself a skin. Like buy yourself that. some pink gloves. Skin yeah. 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 You're just getting tattooed pink. <laughs> Penis. For one million dollars, no, one, I just say pounds, actually. Would you press a button that causes an undiscovered reptile species to immediately become extinct? For one million. For one million. Undiscovered? Yeah. Fuck yeah. How do you? How would that develop? How would how you know that you? Had, how, do you know what I mean? How would anybody else know that you'd done it? To be right, fair though, right. that could have like a massive effect on the ecosystem. Yeah, but you wouldn't yeah. know. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, let's just say that there's like a bird that feeds on these this reptile. Well, yeah, I see that. And then then them yeah. birds die out, and then there's something that feeds on them birds, like tigers or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just use just jumping in the air. Tigers, tigers, are, eat tigers eat are almost gone anyway. Martin. Tigers do eat birds. <laughs> hear that? Hear that? Tigers really? do eat birds. Fucking hell. Fuck you. 
Fuck you. It's just the way cats. you said it, it sounded so <laughs> stupid. Cats, cats catch birds all the time. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Exception. Yeah, but I'm just... I, I don't know what I was going to say. Right, but anyway, it's like... It's like these are feeding on the lizards and then something else is feeding on that and then all of a sudden you've got no tigers, you've got no more of these birds. We're not going to have tigers in a while, but well, are we? then we've got more room to develop, build houses for all these, like... <laughs> so we're going to say yes or no? little natives that are just living in grass What are you saying, Gagan? Uh, no. Are you no. saying mine? No. Nah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't. Okay, no. Would I know where this species is? 50% said yes, 50% said no. 50% of people... Do you want another one? Soul. Go on then, one more. One million pounds. Would you swallow a magical pill that makes you laugh like Fran Drescher? I don't even know who that is. That's her off of Friends with a crazy laugh that nobody liked. Yeah. Oh, was it? It's a for the rest of, of your life. Bobby type thing. For oh. the rest of your life. A bit of a sponge. A million, pound. a million pounds? Nah. Not, not, nah. not worth it no for a million chance. pounds. Nah. If it was a million pounds, no, like every no year for the rest by of your life. Of the week. Mm. I mean, my, my laugh's pretty annoying as it is. So, so is mine. Yeah, yours. Martin, is. your laugh doesn't sound like you're laughing. Your laugh sounds like. You guess it's being ironic. Yeah. Being ironic, <laughs> it just sounds like. <laughs> yeah. it sounds like someone off of a no. talk show or something or a quiz. Like well, I laughed earlier laugh. at, yeah. at yeah. rehearsals and someone said I sound like a hyena. There you go. <laughs> yeah. From the Lion King. Well, I don't know. They just said hyena. The female one. I don't. I don't <laughs> think they specifically meant like a specific fucking hyena. They just said you sound like a hyena. Leave How's the cat. Leave the cat alone. He's like. He's comfortable. Heel. Leave, Ooh, leave him peaks. alone. Look at that. <laughs> it didn't actually. It barely even. Oh, it did on that one. There you go. <laughs> Dual screens. Yeah. Sick setup. PS one on one. And Sick man. PS one on one. One v one, me bro, on Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. Yeah. I fucking hate driving games. I love Gran Turismo. It's the best Gran game Turismo ever. was the oh, best game ever. I get really annoyed at driving. It's like drinking games. I love drinking games. Yeah. You know, no one can actually. Like you know what I was good about? Especially that twat Mario. Yeah, Dave. Oh, geez, yeah. <laughs> Dave. Don't everyone's even gonna be like sat at home going, "What's Dave saying?" Because they can't hear. Dropping shells and shit. Yeah, That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking jump jumps. <laughs> tan tan. The blue show of the wife. Oh, there's. I've seen a thing on the internet. Can you stop doing that with the cable? What? Like. Me, what am I doing? No, you can't. You've got headphones on. I'm the only one that can actually hear what's being recorded. Oh, can you? Does it sound shit? Yeah. Oh, well. That's not a change, is it? No. It probably is that, Mike. It's the shittiest. Yeah. <laughs> it's not got a little bit. Is it this or something? Is it this? Really? Uh, yeah, the little button on it. You keep pressing that, and I can hear it. That sounds really annoying. Well, You're pissing off on all three of our listeners. I know. I was all three of those of us. two now. <laughs> well, I'm couldn't stand the noise that much. Oh, yeah. I'm, t- I'm not listening <laughs> to it. Handing back his million pounds. God damn. <laughs> 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 if we gave you a million pounds, would you listen to every podcast produced by these guys? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Nah. It's only an hour of my life every week. When Martin could be fucked to do it. That's a good. But yeah, not in January, point. so there you go. There you go. Yeah. It's a whole four you don't have thought. to listen to, thank God. So that's, that's and there was what, forty-eight weeks. What? Forty-eight weeks. Plus there was nothing in December. We it's fifty-three know. weeks this year, actually. Not Maybe full. Last year. No, this year. There is this year. Yeah, fifty-three full. Well, not full weeks, but there's fifty-three weeks in which, from Monday to f- Sunday and stuff, you know. We get what you're saying, you just haven't explained it properly. Well, Monday is not a full it. week then? No. No, there's 52 full weeks, but there's an extra few days. Right. Either side. Yep. Get ya. Crazy story, huh? But yeah, <laughs> as, as I was saying before, before somebody <laughs> started playing with a microphone, um, some guy made a rocking chair for his kid. Not a rocking chair, uh, a rocking horse. Except it's not a horse, it's actually a tauntaun from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it looked pretty cool. And I thought... <sighs> They smell bad. What? <laughs> On the outside. <laughs> oh, no? Yeah. I wonder what the hell he thought he was hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting excited because of a tauntaun. <laughs> yeah, I was doing Han Solo. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you do that quite regularly, don't you? I've heard. Hey, <laughs> banter. Yeah, I'm going to accept that one. Top bands. <laughs> Mega bands. Why are people talking about it? <laughs> Have you heard about it? <laughs> heard that gig and he's a wanker. <laughs> yeah, in fact, you know what you want. I don't know. I just threw it out there. So did he. Yeah, he, didn't, he didn't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> his lamp knows. Oh, Gaken's always throwing it out there. So what do you reckon to the new Star Wars movie? Well, I haven't seen it yet. I know so we haven't seen it, but what I'm saying, what do you reckon to? It's in the trailer. I'm looking forward um, to it. Looking forward to it. Wish they hadn't done it. Should have left it alone. Nah, I'm quite glad they <laughs> don't. Have. Fix apparently, what's not in the original, the George Lucas' original plan was he had twelve stories. Really? Yeah. And so far, he's told one. No. No, he's, he's told, told six. six. Right. That's not really six, six stories, though. Well, it kind of is six stories. Well, six They're chapters. All interlinked. Then. Six chapters. They're six chapters. Of one story. Right, of one story, but there was 12 chapters, put it that way then. Okay, that's better. Um, but there's a, there's a spin-off movie coming from it as well. And it's more about, uh, I think it's, is it the Bounty Hunters? Boba Fett? Django oh, Fett. yeah. Bob and Django. Django Fett was killed, obviously, in the second one. Yeah. And that's what made his son hate the Jedis as well. Mm-hmm. And turned him into a bounty hunter. So that and he was basically a clone of his father. Well, yeah. Was he? Yeah, he was an exact clone of. Yeah, see, I've, I've, um, I know the story of the original trilogy, but the first three, it's like. Um, I know the basics. Basically, every clone was Django Fett. Not completely Django Fett, but there was things they missed out and stuff, so they're more obedient and stuff. And then Boba Fett was. Boba Fett, isn't it? Boba. Doesn't matter. Boba doesn't really matter, does it? Yep. And it's Boba pronunciation. Was, yeah. Boba Fett was a complete copy of him. Just oh, okay. say complete cock. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a complete cock. The oh, both of them. Boba, were. stop being a complete copy of your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say, mine all the time. <laughs> oh. Oh. Top banter. Please apply cold it. water to the burnt area. <laughs> Your dad's nicer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Usually at this point I'd call you a prick, but that would just enforce his point. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get him a napkin. Because I just got served. You just got served. Oh, a bite. So anyway, um, oh, have all, you seen the have you seen the piss take? Are we looking forward to it. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah, of course I am. Kind of anxious because it might just be shit. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. George that it's going to spoil. No, but he's actually overseeing it. He's overseeing it, but he doesn't have that much input to it. Or anything yeah, else. but he can turn around and say, "No, no, no, that's not how it's meant to be." But they won't care. But it's J.J. Abrams. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought he'd done the Star Wars first two Star Wars. He did the Star Trek. Sorry. Yeah, Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> Into Darkness and. Um, yeah, but wasn't it like George Lucas only like directed like two of them? With the original, or am I getting completely mixed up with something yeah, else? You're probably getting mixed up. Probably getting like, mixed up with J.J. Abrams doing the two Star Treks. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck about J.J. Abrams. You might be thinking of the uh, Indiana Jones. No, no, I'm sure it was... Oh, shit, that was Harrison Ford, wasn't it? And George Lucas. Was it George Lucas? Yeah, yeah. Lucas films. Else. Yeah. Wow. And Yolo. <laughs> I thought it was quite funny in the... Um, the Family Guy version of Star Wars where um, obviously Peter's playing Han Solo and it's like the first time you meet him and he's like hi I'm Han Solo and I'm the only actor whose career wasn't completely destroyed by completely this destroyed movie. by this movie <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not wrong he's not because like where else do you see like can you even name them Carrie Fisher or uh, Mark Hammond Hamill, Hamill. Hamill. You don't, you don't see him anywhere else. She was actually in The Blues Brothers, which was an absolutely awesome film in the 80s. Oh, The Blues Brothers, yeah. Is that the... The fat guy and the skinny guy? Yeah. John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. 160 miles to Colorado. Got a We're full wearing tank sunglasses. Of gas. <laughs> Half a pack of cigarettes. We're wearing sunglasses when it's dark. Hit it. It's got to be one of my favourite quotes of any film. Yeah. Ray Charles was in the movie. Yeah. And he sang Shake Your Tail Feather. Oh shit, yeah. Because yeah. I got into shit when I'd done the quiz once and I said. Aretha uh, Franklin. 
I got into shit once because I was doing the quiz and I asked a question. You know, it's like beat the intro and I played the song. Someone put down Ray Charles. And they got really pissed off when I said it was the Blues Brothers because that's what it was. It was titled as like the Blues Brothers. Oh, the quiz. Shake a tail feather. Yeah, but it wasn't the Blues Brothers. No, it was Ray Charles. It was Ray Charles. It yeah. was and in then, the Blues and Brothers. And like everyone else had put the Blues Brothers because you know everyone knew it was the Blues Brothers. And this one team were like, no, no, it's Ray Charles. It's Ray Charles. And I was like, well, no, it's not. It's the Blues Brothers. So you were wrong. Well, I wasn't. You were. It was in the movie The Blues Brothers, but it wasn't the Blues Brothers. Yeah, you were wrong. Well, it's remember the quiz. Good times, good times. I weren't <laughs> fond of the host, though. Hmm? I wasn't fond of the host, though. No, he was a no. complete and utter cock. No one wanted Des back. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you still want Des back. <laughs> You're not wrong. Apparently the guy that's doing it now is a complete and utter cock. Apparently. <laughs> so is the guy before him, though. Yeah. Oh, You say apparently. <laughs> like you don't know, Martin. You don't know him. Well, I don't know what his quiz is like because I haven't sat through it. I've never, I've never sat through it. To be honest, I've never seen it. Yeah, I don't think we've been quiz ever since you've left, actually. Mm. From what I've told, it's like he's got four rounds now. <coughs> four fucking like, hell! It's still forty questions. See Mike Tyson or something. <laughs> 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 no, but he does like four rounds, and it's like you know, general knowledge, music, something, and and he's got this this round at the end, and it's like, um, from what I've understood from it, and it's probably completely wrong. So you have to get all ten, or you get nothing. Right. Or if like if you get a wrong answer on any one of them, nothing, nothing for that whole that whole section. Right. So like if you don't know, you put nothing. Oh, so you can't get question wrong, but you can skip it out. Yeah. And I was like, so if you put it down and it's wrong, you, you lose. You lose. You lose that whole round. So you gotta be actually. Yeah. So it's all or nothing, really. That's a bit shit, isn't it? That's what I said when someone told me. I was like, well, that's a bit bollocks, isn't it? Just put down one answer and forget the rest. Don't put any down. criticism. Yeah, you'll probably win no, from no, that. No, but like... <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get any anyway. <laughs> I don't know, but you did get one wrong, did you? I did. Yeah, but if you, put, if you don't put anything down and someone else puts something down, they're like, oh, it's all wrong. You can't get it because you got it wrong. Then you haven't technically got anything wrong because you put nothing down. Yeah, because you'd still be... Yeah, but you still though. wouldn't get any points for that round, would you? Would you get minus points for getting something wrong? No. But I don't know how it works. But, but you didn't get zero points wrong. for that round. Right. It's, 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 it just, it's just for that round. You know how I've done two no, rounds? I've done general knowledge of music. You don't get it right. You don't get the point. Obviously. But if you get a question wrong, then you're out of it. It doesn't matter about your points. Well, I don't know. Cause so zero is still a score, though. So technically, it should still zero be. Zero is not really a score, is it? But yeah, it still zero is a number. Yeah. Zero is Wait, a valid number. number. Zero out of ten is still zero out of ten. Yeah. I know that because I often got it. In school. <laughs> Every test. Every spelling test. <laughs> Especially the, the one I did last week. The, the only spelling... Spelling test? That used to annoy me. Gagan. Oh, sorry. Fuck it up. Could you hear that? Yes. Sorry, I didn't know. Spelling tests. You do a spelling test they give you a number at the end of it. What's that about? <laughs> just one. <laughs> Why don't you just give you a letter? So give you letters on a spelling test. They should actually write like how many you got out rather than just writing ten. They should actually write the word. Yeah, they should ten. spell it. They should write the word yeah. ten out of ten. Well done. I think all teachers should get a minus mark for that. Yeah. Did you hear that thing? I don't know where I've seen this. But apparently schools are letting kids spell things phonetically now and not how they're oh, actually spelled. That's crazy. Spelled. Ch- do you know what I mean? It's that's bullshit. <laughs> what's the, what's the, what's the that, point? That how it sounds or how it's spelled? It's just, well, I know how it's phonetically sounds. Sound phonetically. sounds. Yeah. Like when you say cough. Yeah. C-O-F. C-O-F-F. Yeah, C-O-U-G-H. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Gagan. Well done. Yes. <laughs> Spelling test, 10 out of 10. Nice. 5 out of 5, there's only 5 letters. A out of 26. A out of Z. <laughs> A out of Z. That's 37 out of 10. Why don't they do that? A out of Z. 26, that's not good. 110% correct. You know 1 in 10 people don't enjoy gang rape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> Banter. It's the same with Bukaki, apparently. Ew. Well, no, because they're quite often neat. they're quite often asking for it, though, aren't they? No, but the other lads don't like it. They're just getting paid to do it. Oh, right. So it's so it's nine in ten people don't enjoy Bukaki. Yeah, I don't know what you said to start with. So, so one in ten people don't enjoy gang rape. Yes. Great. <coughs> Tumbleweed. <coughs> Bong. <laughs> and the 
Undertaker. Right. So, who else, watched, <laughs> who else has watched and caught up with all the Marvel movies? So it's just you, Dad. I am going to... It is just April. you. So where have you got to um, in the franchise? I'm up to four. Which first is? One. Which one? first one. What do you mean, four, the first one? Four. Four. Oh, four. four. So it's said number four. 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 Fantastic I thought he was four. just spelling it wrong. <laughs> sake. Number Thor. Four. <laughs> so yeah, you, up to four. you've seen Thor? I have not seen Thor. You haven't? I'm going to see Thor. So like basically you've only seen it. Iron Man 1. I've seen Iron Captain Man. Captain America. Not Captain America. So not even up to Thor oh, then. Shit, yeah, because that's before everything, isn't it? That's before it? everything. You've got to see Captain America. Jesus. First. Although oh, it doesn't really matter. Arse. He's so shit. It doesn't really matter because it's like he's a not movie. actually that bad in in the um, he's quite good in the films. Yeah, but he was like what eighty years ago. So no, first no. or second World War? Second World War. Second. second. So he's like sixty. But so years was ago. Wolverine. Padding. But no, it's not. It's Gagan. Yeah. As an English Wolverine man. was actually Wolverine like, was born back. in like the Renaissance. Renaissance. Way back, way back in the American Civil War. Well, that's the one. Wolverine. It was in a wooden cabin anyway, in the woods. Really? Fucking hell. They had, so was Evil Dead. What does that mean? I said it was the Renaissance. Yeah, but you said it was a wooden cabin in the woods. So yeah. was Evil Dead. That doesn't give you a clue as to what year it was. No, but what? It's 2015, man. People can be gay if they want. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a few of my friends are gay, thank you very much. Oh yeah, now film with Nelson Mandela in it at home. It doesn't matter, does it? What? <laughs> Nelson Mandela. You just say you've got a photo of Nelson Mandela, Mandela at home. Yeah, it means I'm not racist. All oh, right, okay. Okay. If that's how it works. Well, you just said I've got gay friends. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I guess. Right, there's a slight difference. Between I was going to say something good then, but you, you stupidness, Martin. You've done my head in there. See. Too much alcohol. Kind of lager, and he just gets aggressive. <laughs> 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 it's gonna fill the mic in a minute. He's not even finished his canalaga. Just as well, Mike didn't come here tonight, then, isn't it? <laughs> now I've finished my canalaga. Oh, yes. Mike. The cats fell asleep again. Yay! Pussy. What? Where are we going? Where are we on? What time are we on? Yeah, I was gonna um, ten to ten. We. Well, we, mu time. we, we must have started at nine because we've been going for fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Well, well yeah, it would have been. That's gonna call me the sixty-minute man, Mike. Way. So I won the Royal Rumble in two thousand six. Yeah, the two. Wee! Hey. Banter! <laughs> That's what I was getting at. Six, I just like. 60 second patio. Uh, we give Joe Ever's attention. Is it back to that ghost is still up there? Yep, oh, yeah, there's two up there now. Yep. I think this was mentioned in a previous podcast. Yep. Just as just an update on the ghost situation, they yep. are still up there. There's two of them. There's two of them now. They're breeding. Yeah. The rabbit's up there. Well, no, because I had two and I had one over there and I thought, fuck it, I'll put the other one up there as well. There could well be more by the end of the year if they put the willies up each other. <laughs> Way! <laughs> they are real ghosts, you know, because they haven't got feet. So they are real. Halloween throwbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say people who help feet are ghosts? <laughs> what, yeah, about no. that, what about that guy that was in that film? That was in Hellboy? He didn't He's have any feet. Did he have... Was he a ghost? <clears throat> he was a hobgoblin. Was he a white He sheep? was a half goblin. Was he a hop goblin? Hop goblin. Hop. Hop. A hop goblin. Hop goblin. He doesn't get it, does it's he? It's an ale, isn't it? Well, it's no, I get it, hop. But he doesn't have any legs, so he can't hop. Was well, he a stove goblin? Stove goblin? He was a half goblin. He was explaining oh. the stove part. Yeah. Hop. I thought he said hop goblin first. Hop. Yeah, he did, but it's like I said half goblin I before it. I don't know where it's going. I think you meant hob. Yeah, hop. Stove that's goblin. Hop stove hob, goblin. That's what I meant. Hop, hop. goblin. Not hop. That can's really gone to your head, hasn't it, Paddy? <laughs> I'm this stupid anyway. <laughs> yeah, but you were fully compassmentous when we started this podcast. Now that one can. No. Right. <laughs> 45 like, oh. minutes later, he's fucked. And that can man, really watching didn't take long. That Hellboy film. No, it doesn't. Your eyes, you're going to go sleep in a minute. Look mm -hmm. at your eyes, are just getting heavier. This is the Paddy that, we've, that we've grown to love and enjoy. Yep. No, this is why not. we didn't do a podcast in January. Yeah. Because I was asleep for January. And I was still... Could need some more sleep. Hibernating. Mm -hmm. Hibernation. Went quiet again. Look, I started someone off yawning, and then Paddy. Oh, sorry, Gage was trying to hold one back there. I was. The yawn's contagious, right? Because your brain thinks that everyone's going to steal the oxygen. Yeah. So then it like, oh, I know I want it first. Yeah. 
<sighs> See, that's what it is. It's like your brain, your brain playing tricks on you. It's like you need to yawn in case he steals all the oxygen. Right now, all three listeners are yawning. Yeah. There you go. All at the same time. Thumbs up if you actually yawned at that. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I can imagine Jack Connor listening to this and putting his thumb up like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Jack. 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 Oh, I seen his brother in the zombie hut last night and he was absolutely fucking oh, wankers. Shit, yeah, I seen Owen and Owen. Oh, oh it's like um, I, isn't that what the t-shirt says? Get in, get, get fucked, get out. Yeah, but like... Can't drink a beer in there, gives me a rash. What beer is it they do? Uh, red Stripe, mainly. That's the thing. Everyone cans drinks. of Red Stripe. Yeah, yeah, everyone drinks Red Stripe. You not get I can p- drink that in there, but I'm not keen. You, you can get pints. You can, yeah, if you want a bit of vinegar in it. Yeah, Why vinegar? Because the plastic cups they use, they just wash out. Ooh. Yeah. I, mean, I love the hut, but I think that's what they do. Should not really be doing that, should they? No, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they do. I think they just no. keep them in a place that's just like... Don't wash them. <laughs> yeah. They don't well, wash them before they put them out. Just put it back in. Every time I've had a pint of Guinness or something, whilst I've been down there, it tasted like vinegar. So I just don't... <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I don't, think, I don't yeah, think lager works well in plastic anyway. No. Yeah, but is it? Is it not like Guinness? Is that not like I from a can? A no, lot it's of things on the tap. Oh, is it? A lot of things from a can don't taste the same. I mean, they say, "Oh, yeah, it's just like draft." No, but it's not. It isn't. It's not like you get these cans like, "Oh, it's got a widget in it." That means when you pour it, it's just exactly the same as having it on draft. No, it isn't. Hmm. I drink Carlsberg all the time at the club, and when I drink Carlsberg in a can, even if I pour it into a glass, it tastes totally different to being hmm. in the pub. I don't know if that's something to do with the your brain it's the pumps mixing the atmosphere in with the flavour do you know what I mean mm. it's like a whole experience well the way to try that out is to have a pint on draft and then to have a pint from a can in the pub well, yeah that work though because you'd be feeling the effect of the first pint if you're a lightweight like me well you could get the bar <laughs> bar staff behind the bar but I mean I've done it up at um, the forest where they hand cans out mm. Before they used to have it on draft. Yeah, they've only got um, like bitter on draft. They now. used to have lager on draft. Yeah, I know they did. And I've drank a pint straight out of draft. So maybe it is the actual pump that puts the atmosphere into the glass that makes your brain go, "Yeah, I like this a lot more than I do the cans." How many basketballs have you smoked? <laughs> <laughs> is that going to become a current thing now? Yeah, just like you getting beat at chess. Hey. <sighs> First one of the new year. Hey, wanker. Well, I'm unbeaten. I'll have to give you a game word of chess. Deleted the app. Deleted the app. So I can't be beat. <laughs> it's a funny thing because I got an app for chess. Well, chess. you would. Chest. I said it again, didn't I? Chess day. Yeah. Yeah. There's no tea in chess. I know there isn't. It's a good musical, though. Apparently. I've not seen it. I haven't seen it. I've never heard of it. There's a musical Musicals. called Chess. Okay. Interesting story. It's, it's an Andrew Lloyd Webber thing. Jinx, you want to like he's inside out. Even jinxes. Andrew Lloyd Webber? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Andrew Lloyd Webber looks like he's inside out. Oh, he was at. I was watching his chat show. So was I. He had a guest on. Was it a chat show or was it one of them panel shows? I can't remember. Graham Norton. No, no, I don't watch that. I'm just leaving the pub. Uh. It might have been 8 out of 10 cats or... Big Fat Quiz of the Year? No, it wasn't that. Or Cats Does Countdown. Right. I can't remember who it was, but it was one of the guests. We've never done Countdown, Dad. No, we haven't. No, I'm on about cats. 8 out of 10 cats does Countdown. Oh, has right. anybody else ever watched that? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Ace. I think it's funny when they've got that... The, the bearded guy. Joe Wilkinson. That's the one. When he comes on. He's, He's going out Joe with Rachel. Walsh. Joe Wilkinson. Joe Walsh, is Joe Walsh is the one that looks like um, the the girl out of that family thing. The little girl. Right. Do you want to expand further? There's a... Not Joe Walsh. Sean Walsh. I'm not on it. you're thinking of. No, I'm thinking of Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. Yeah. Is a girl. Is it? She's a comedian. Okay. Apparently she looks like Mary Berry. Is she the old bird from Bake Off? Yeah. Joe Walsh is probably only in I've the I've never 30s. watched Bake Off. Oh. Yeah. 
It's like great British uh, bacon. But anyway, oh Joe man. Wilkinson, he's gone out without Rachel Riley. I'm almost certain of it. Her that does the numbers on Countdown. She's I don't give a shit what anyone wow. says. She is fit. I don't think anyone disagrees with you, Martin. It's not a controversial opinion. No. I've never seen Countdown. Have you, you watched the Gadget Show recently? I don't watch TV. Right. I don't really watch TV. Do you want me to show you? Go on then. I've got the internet. Proper it's gadget show. Spell. It's on channel 5, isn't it? Did you just say it's got it on my phone? I said you got it saved on your phone. It's an iPod. <laughs> and I'm going on the internet. Me. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing though, because it can't text or make calls. Well, if you, you can, can get an app for that. Well, I can't. Yeah, you can. There's an app for that. You can call people on Skype. Yeah, it's called Skype. There you go. And what's, uh, actually, WhatsApp. Actually, yeah. my phone, co- uh, my iPod. Can't <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go. It's a, it's a phone confirmed. It's not. It's an Illuminati iPod confirmed. It's much you believe. because it's an old one. This. Because it's, it's an old iPod, it can't handle Skype or WhatsApp. What's that? Exactly. <laughs> so it's like an iPod shuffle then. Yeah, but it, it can have. See, it might as well not even have a screen. Uh, yeah, my iPod. I've got an iPod shuffle. It's only a little square. It's like a shreddy, but yeah. it's metal. <laughs> A little metal shreddy. Metal it's shreddy. funny how they made that after the Nano. Yeah. You think, well, the Nano, surely that's the smallest one, because Nano means really, really small. Yeah. But and they make a small. But the Nano's one. bigger than the, the Shuffle. Nanos yeah. were fucking thick-ass things. The old ones were. Yeah, the Nano's bigger than the Shuffle. Yeah. It's, it makes no sense. Idiots. What are they But doing? hey, that's Apple. But they're bringing out this new thing, aren't they? This, um... Um virtual reality visor thing you put um, on yeah, Google glasses Windows. and if you wear it Google glasses no, not Google glass no not that it's the actually actual thing it's, that Windows have made it's Microsoft oh and uh, it's basically it's, it's, it's like a it's like welder's goggles that you oh, have yeah. basically <laughs> you can see through it but uh, it we can't hear you dad it projects onto your goggles obviously whatever you look at you can yeah. redecorate your house with these things on. All mm. oh, right. right, okay. And as long as you wear the glasses, your house will be redecorated. <laughs> as soon as you take them off, you'll be like, everything will be gone, obviously. Yeah. And they showed you a, a clip of it, and I'm like, that's mad. Why would you want to do that? Why not just redecorate? Do you know it's I mean? probably cheaper, to be honest. What? Well, yeah, because I think these glasses are about, like, 2,000 quid exactly. or something. Exactly. <laughs> Make a whole like, fucking what? kitchen out of that. You could, you could redecorate decorate your house, like, once a month for a year. For that, yeah. it'll become cheaper the more. Yeah, of the, obviously, the more people buy them, yeah, and the, the better the technology like, yeah. advances. Who'd win in a fight, Eamon Holmes or Lenny Henry? Lenny Henry, <laughs> Lenny, Lenny Henry. Henry, without a doubt. Yeah, and not just because he's black. No, he's been Othello. Oh yeah, and he's I like Lenny. Henry. Oh, she's she's not going out with um, Joe. Who's she going out with? She's going out with one of the dancers from Strictly. Yeah. I thought she was a chance. Because I've seen him Pasha and her. Kovalev. i seen the two of them on, I think it was Million Pound Drop. Yeah. Or was that? The oh, charity ones, ain't it? Or was that? Oh, maybe it was um, the other girl in Dictionary Corner that was on it with him. Carol Vorderman. No. Dictionary Corner girl. <laughs> Carol Vorderman was the one that was there before Rachel Riley. Some people say that Carol Vorderman was better. I think she's actually got hotter since she left. Carol nah. Waterman. She used to be dowdy and frumpy, and then all of a sudden, she's like, she's changed her wardrobe, and she, I'm like, whoa, she's changed her hairstyle, and <laughs> she looks hot. I don't know, maybe it's my age, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know who you're on about. Carol Vorderman was the one who used to be on Countdown, doing the numbers. She was always there. So you didn't know who Rachel Riley was, you won't know who Carol Vorderman was. Yeah. Me and my mate, Daz, uh, Stevenson, whenever I see him in the in the Fisher, we've got this thing where if there's something that's like that's wrong, it's out of order. We do oh that's Carol Vorderman. That's Carol Vorderman. That's a terrible joke. No, but see when you've had a few drinks, that is just like oh that that fits, it works. It just works, it's comedy gold. Does it work, Paddy? Well he oh, laughed. He did laugh. So yeah. yeah. And he's only had one can. Yeah, but he's not drank for a month, so... Comedy gold. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really weird through these headphones. Good. Why you? <laughs> Rapid fire. 
So getting back to your name, right? My name. There is a possibility that it's also been mispronounced. What my name? Yeah. No. Because right. I was thinking. Yes, you mispronounced Daniel. A good few, a good few That's months me. back, I was thinking. Yeah, how can you pronounce mispronounce Daniel? I was thinking. That Say Daniel. The name Gagan, the way it's spelt is. Jogahagen. Or or. G o g h e g a n. Oh yes. yes. Go Hagen. Pronounce. Well, it's not pronounced, but the way it's spelt, you'd think it would be pronounced. Go Hagen. Go 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 Hagen. Or Jogan. Which could be. Jogan. From an old Irish name, Cahagan. Could be. Who knows? You know what I mean, and it's just mispronounced by English. Again, English intervention. Yeah. But they did actually move over from Ireland, so. Well, that's what I'm saying. The English intervention over in Ireland. Yeah, I suppose that would affect it. England seemed to have affected everything. Well, they went out and raped the whole world. <coughs> the English. Yeah. So everywhere they went, born in England. everywhere they went, they oppressed the natives, stole their lands, moved in, and effectively made the people slaves. Raped and pillaged. Raped we and pillaged. gave them it back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only because they were asked nicely. Yeah. At the point of a gun. And even then, it didn't work in America, did it? Exactly. We <laughs> tried it in America. Yeah. Give us back our land. Fuck no. off. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. Fine, we'll just throw all your tea in the in the sea. <gasps> this is war. <laughs> Don't mess with the British man's tea. Tea or oil is no chance, mate. That's just and that's wrong. number five. So wrong. That's number three, you dickhead. <laughs> that's two burps and three farts. Why are you counting my bodily functions? Because I thought it'd be funny, and it is to myself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end. Right at the end. You know what though? I've I've given up on that. You can say cunt as much as you like. I'm do, you want, do you want me to say it now so you don't have to go through this shit? No, it's fine. I'm not going to overdub it anymore. No. It's right at the end, you silly cunt. It's <laughs> <laughs> too much it's effort. A thing to do. Right at the it's end. too much effort to go through every single fucking episode. I do hope ep- my mother's not going to listen to this podcast at any point. Yeah. Because Martin? Yes, David, because you just used the C <laughs> word. Uh, prove it. I've got the recording right here. Yeah, you have, but that's not proving it. That's just telling me you've got the recording. Well, I could show you it, but it's recording right now. Well, there you go. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to switch it off now because we're not at the end of the podcast yet. Is that because you're a cunt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prove he said that. Top bants. <laughs> Mega bants. Bantosaurus Rex. <laughs> 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 Uh, swing your bants. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bantalicious. <laughs> I think this is a good point to end, eh? Archbishop of Banterbury. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mega bants, mate. <laughs> Bant and deck. <laughs> yeah, you're getting a little bit. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you need that shovel anymore? <laughs> you're burying the banter, mate. Buried. Six foot under. In banter. It's bound to happen, wouldn't it? <laughs> if I was a boxer, I'd be a band <laughs> band of weight boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was the worst one yet. Anyway. If you were a cunt, you'd be a cunt. Cunt. Banter. If you were a chicken, you'd be a bantam cock. <laughs> Can we what? Stop this? This is a bantam, so a bantam bad. cock. That's why it's called bantam weight, because bantam chickens are the kind of the smallest chickens. Right, okay. Okay. And when a boxer is a bantam boxer, a bantam weight boxer, it's because they're like usually okay. below lightweight. What was that thing you always end on, Martin? You used to say, I'm going to do something. Yeah. Go oh. for a shit, have a wank. <laughs> you just broke kayfabe, you've just said that you do it now. Yep. Okay. Can I, I just get rid of it? it? That's the golden rule, do you know what I mean? You shouldn't have told everybody. Well, I can just chop this bit out. Then no one will know. Okay. I'm going to mention it at every point ever during the next time I'm on this podcast. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to turn your microphone off. <laughs> i just say it loud enough so it's on Paddy's as well. Well, then I'll turn everyone's microphone off. Woo! Well, that'll be yeah, a good bloody podcast. podcast. The, the podcast. Oh, he's talking to himself. Switched everyone's microphone off. 
That includes mine. Oh, and yeah, yours as the well. Attitude. Did you hear? see the attitude you in his face? What's the yeah. point of having moved a his face around and everything? Yeah. Switch everyone's mic off, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Perez Hilton, calm down. <laughs> he's a dick. I don't even know the guy, but he's a dick. It's not nice yeah, to say about someone Richard. at work, they didn't know that it was uh, Paris Hilton's brother. It's not, though, is it? Stupid bit. You didn't... What? Yes. I didn't know oh. that. There you go. I Two people everybody in the knew that. No. Perez and Paris Hilton were related. Stupid. To be fair, at one point I thought they were the same person. Yeah. They're related to the Hilton Hotel. Yeah. pronouncing it wrong. I thought they? it was just yeah. someone pronouncing Paris wrong. Well, maybe that's the posh pronunciation. It's Perez. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm off to. I'm off for a night in Perez. <laughs> like, right, gay. Hey, I'm going to Perez. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican tourist. <laughs> anyway. There's a Paris in Texas. Is there? Yeah, a place called Paris. In Paris Birmingham, Texas. Alabama. Is that not where... Um, yeah, and a Birmingham, Alabama. And the York. Except they put New in front of it. Yeah, because it was the New York. Yeah. It was actually called New Amsterdam. It, it was. <laughs> and then the British got a hold of it. Called yeah, it. we wouldn't be having that. It was called New York. Mm. Fuck you oh, he's going to change the name of the state now. But That's there is Aberdeen, Washington. Washington. There is another place in America that um, was named after one of our queens. Virginia. Virginia. Because she was a virgin. Crazy yeah. story, huh? Elizabeth the first. Mm. 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 Well, she died a virgin, yeah. apparently. You'd go after her then. Einstein. Her sister, I think. <laughs> <laughs> <Einstein. laughs> <laughs> I think it was her sister. Einstein. Mary. Queen of Scots? Yeah. Who was the king at the time of the World Wars? Which World Wars? The first one. Right, there'd be a different king to the second one. There wasn't a king during the second one. Wasn't there? No. Why? Oh, wait, yeah, there was. Why the wasn't king there a country? king? Because the queen was um, in celebration Nin in 1952. Right. There we go. What was the name of the king then? Was it George? George. George. Yeah. I've seen the king's speech. That was the, 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 the king. king. <laughs> During the, the, the First World War. That's how he spoke? Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Until he was taught not to stutter. The queen confirmed it. Illuminati confirmed. Yep. I haven't actually seen the King's Speech. Era oh, 51. I, uh, I think it was George V. George V. What was that <clears throat> Charlie Chapman film? Was it The Dictator? Where he played Hitler? Yeah. Yeah. The Dictator. The speech at the end of that. I think that, I think that was his first talkie. No, his first talkie was Limelight. Was it? His first talkie could walk, though. I can't remember. Hmm. His first talk. It was a walkie talkie. It was either the dictator, yes, Martin, the get. dictator, or the limelight. <laughs> I can't remember which. Maybe limelight was his last movie. Banter. Where he plays an actor on the stage, and the limelight is obviously the the light that shines on the actors on the stage. Because it used to be um, burnt limestone. The more you know. Yeah. Like years ago, it used to be the burnt limestone. After it was like Schrodinger's hat. <laughs> Schrodinger's His hat. hat. Is it on or off? <laughs> You'll never know. Has he got hair under it or not? Martin's, in a, Martin's locked That's in a room. That's Martin's hat. Martin's locked Schrodinger. in a room. How can you know if he has his hat? If he has his hat on or not? So technically, he's in a state where well, he ha Martin. both has his hat on and he doesn't. To be fair though, that can be said about anything. It's like if if you can't see the person, you don't know whether. How does Schrodinger own, own all this stuff? I'm lucky to have. Be <laughs> well, it's Schrodinger's it's cat. I know. I'm I mean. Joking. But was it his cat that he used though when he said that? I don't think he, he actually didn't use did anything. use a cat. He just came it up was with just the a metaphor. Then, then why is it his cat? Because he did because have a cat. Because he explained it with the cat. He didn't actually use a cat for some poison. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, dead. was the cat that he used as like, if I put my cat? Did he say if I put my cat in a box with a bottle of uh, like a? If I put a cat. That's what I'm saying. Did he say did my cat or did he just say a cat? Because it was just our cat. It's not his cat. He is said it? a cat. Well, the then it's not his cat. The theory is called Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger's. Schrodinger. There's no T in it. I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up with the porno. 
That's wrong, Digger. <laughs> uh, no, but just woke the cat up. He's gone back to sleep. Ah, is, but is he? Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. If you don't look at him, you don't know if he's asleep or not. I That's basically see. Strodinger's character. If you don't look at him, well, because Strodinger's. I'm, yeah, I'm saying it wrong as many times as possible now. Scrodingler. <laughs> Scrotumler. Scrodingler. <laughs> Dirk Dingler. God. That's like a. A cat. In a box. In a box. Don't know if it's love or dead. But it's like, if you just put a cat in a box, it's not really struggling. It's a cat. You need to put like a bottle of poison in there. Yeah, you need something for it to be able to die. Yeah. That's no, he said you leave it in the box without any food or anything, and then three days later. No. no you no, won't know until you open the box. No, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a, a bottle of poison. It's a bottle of poison that's yeah. going to crack open at some point, but you don't know when. I've not heard it that way. Shall we Google it? Nah. Who cares no, about short of these sauce these days? The guy's dead anyway. Or is he? Is was it? he part of the man? Has anybody opened his coffin lately? <laughs> 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 oh, did you no, see no, that? Oh, there was, there was something on, on like uh, the internet the other day, and it was like um, some guy in like China or something was minutes off of being buried because like he'd had like a, a heart attack and he'd gone into pri- um, not prison. To prison. <laughs> <laughs> he'd gone into hospital and like he'd gone into a coma. And he was in a coma for like six months or whatever. And eventually, like they just said, no, I think it got to a point where his heart just stopped. And like, um, maybe it was taking a break. <laughs> carry on. Do you notice nobody <laughs> laughed at that? <laughs> <laughs> that carry on. Have a Kit Kat. Right. Have a Kit Kat. But it's like his heart just like completely stopped, and they like they said to his wife, you know, he's dead. And she was like, obviously upset and everything. She's like, all right, okay, well, we'll have to bury him then. And like they were carrying him down the street because in China they do this like this weird thing where they carry the coffin down the street. Yeah, usually open. Well, it wasn't open from what I seen, but it's like this this big coffin thing. They're carrying it down the street, and someone heard like a knocking coming from the inside of the coffin. They were like, "What the fuck's that?" They opened it up, and the guy was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And he was like, "WTF, mate?" He was literally minutes off of being buried alive. Well, on the same genre, there was a cat that got ran over. Oh, I've was it Schrodinger's cat? It might yeah. have been because they buried it. It was dead, right? Yeah, they yeah. buried it and, and it, it clawed its way out. out. Yeah. This neighbour found it. It was like, whoa, your cat's alive. Do you know what I mean? Everybody in the neighbourhood is like, whoa, pet cemetery. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, and I've seen the cat as well and it's, it's like, it's eye. It's yeah, it's eyes. Like, it's fucking really and it's got like, marks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really bad down one side of its face. But that, happened to, that happened to my dog. I had a dog years ago when I was about 13 I had this uh, Labrador you woke the cat up it was uh, she gone back to sleep it wasn't a full Labrador it was obviously a Heinz 57 but it was a Labrador is that uh, like a, a dog that's variety. mixed with beans it's 57 varieties of Labrador 57 varieties of dog it could have been anything the mother was a was a Labrador right okay right and whatever other it means mongrel it was a mutt yeah it means mongrel, not a pedigree Every dog. Every single day. Right. Jesus Explain Christ, the story. Martin. No, but it's like you said Shut it was a Heinz. So I was like, a Heinz 57 varieties is a figure of speech meaning it's not a proper pedigree. It's well, a, I've never a, heard of that fucking saying before. Where have you been? <laughs> Jesus. Where have you been? Hey! <laughs> Served. Little Beans. That's your nickname. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there's someone at Cats whose last name's Heinz. And because there's three Aaron's, her name's Aaron, there's three Aaron's at Cats. And it's like, if you shout Aaron from across the room, and they're all stood within like they all ignore you they all <laughs> <laughs> they all turn around and they're like what and it's like no so I had to give them all nicknames and one of them because their name was Heinz are called them Beans your Beans yeah, well, your Beans so. your Beans yeah. you'll have to call her Mongrel <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't think she'd like that nah, probably not anyway this dog that I had <sighs> this Mongrel dog that I had looked like a Labrador I was almost certain that it was crossed with a bigger dog like a Great Dane or something because his paws were huge Ask your papa about it. Glenn, his name was. No. And he was a a, a, a dark golden colour, right? Mm-hmm. Not like a like a golden retriever. Right. Darker, much darker, like a, almost ginger, right? Like Pat in his beard. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, he used to follow me everywhere, right? He he would never ever go on the lead. If you got the lead towards him, he'd start growling at you because he didn't want to go on it, right? But he would follow you everywhere. And he would stop at the side of the road if you stopped. He wouldn't just run across the road. 
And we used to play cricket on the field down at Willowbrook Shops, right? And he would be a fielder. He'd chase the ball, bring it back to you. <laughs> That's right? epic. But uh, they would only give it to me. So if I was on the opposite team, if I was on the batting side, I would have to like take the dog in because otherwise, he'd be bringing you the ball. Well, he nobody would get the ball except me. Yeah. And I'd be just like running backwards and forwards and like nah nah. nah, nah. <laughs> you run away. Well, we were playing. Away, yeah. We were playing cricket on the field one day. And actually, it might have been king ball. We were playing. You play that way, like you've got to throw the ball at people. It's got to hit them on the shins, but you're allowed to stop it with your fists, right? So you can stop them hitting your shins. With anyway, it's a game we played. It's news to me. And then uh, if you if you have the ball, the only person that can run with the ball is if there's only one person, and you have to like catch everybody. Once you catch one person, then you're not allowed to run with the ball. You've got to stop if you've got the ball, and then the other person can run. But it's uh, do you know what I mean? It's the seventies. It was a good game. We didn't have Game Boys and shit like that. We were out in the street playing. <laughs> So were we. We were out in the street playing Game Boys. And, and burgling cars <laughs> and shops and shit, man. <laughs> Scrumping. Scrumping was ace. Scrumping my own back garden. That was that was mad. <laughs> What's anyway, scrumping? Going, like, hedge hopping over the back and stealing apples from the trees. All yeah. oh, right, Just stealing scrumping. fruit. Fruit. Okay. But, uh, we were on the field playing whatever it was we were playing. And uh, my mum, she had a friend who lived down Maidford. My mum. And I said to my mum. I know you did. She was on the other side of the road and walked down there and I seen her and I thought, oh, go and ask her if I can have some money f to get some sweets. As I turned round, I seen, I was over the other side of the road. Can and you I imagine that Glenn. when a kid just come up to you like, I have some money for some sweets. It's my mum. She knew who I was. Right. I thought you meant <laughs> Grand's friend. No, my mum. Right. Because she was said going to her friends down right, Meadford. Right, okay. Keep up. <laughs> so I crossed over the road <laughs> by the the telephone boxes at the bottom uh, opposite Maidford down Willowbrook at the bottom of the field and I looked round and I seen Glenn just about to come over and I shouted to him to stop but he didn't he just walked out and this car just hit him on the side of the head and I seen it happening and it, a 13 year old boy you know what I mean it's like and it was like slow motion the glass and and all that and then the dog spinning round, the car like stopped, and I just freaked, and I, I kind of like, oh my god, he's killed my dog, he's killed my dog. So I ran up the house crying to my dad, he's killed my dog, right? When I come back down with my dad, obviously running back down, the guy had got a, a crowbar out of the back of his car to like really whacking on the dog's head, trying to put him out of his misery because the dog's making such a row. Like he was in pain, right? Obviously, just smacked him around the head with a freaking car. Silver Capri it was. I always remember it with a black vinyl roof. Never forget it. What a prick! Who drives a fucking Capri? Yeah, nowadays. <laughs> so anyway, by the time I got back down there, he was like hitting the dog with the with, with this crowbar, and uh, I don't know what he stopped. But, like he couldn't hit the dog hard enough to to kill the dog. Do you know what I mean? Or the dog right. was just like not giving in. <laughs> So, the dog was lying there going, Fuck I think he knocked the dog Fuck unconscious. He, I think he knocked my dog unconscious. The dog had stopped yelping, so he must have thought oh, I was dead. So that was me even worse. He's killed my dog. Seeing him whacking him over the head with a crowbar and that, he's killed my dog. I just wanted to kill the guy, 13 years old. Do you know what I mean? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but a few of the neighbours around that, around that area, uh, one of them, Maggie Hall, her name was, she had this Aaron Nick cardigan. Now, Way back then, Aaron Nick cardigans were like the, the Nike wear of today. It's quite expensive stuff, right? She took that off and wrapped it around the dog's head and used it as a pillow for the dog, right? right? I don't know, just... No, I said right. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said why. But she'd done that, but she was like the poorest person in the street. I mean, Christmas dinner, her kids were having chip sandwiches. I'm not joking. They were having chip sandwiches at Christmas dinner. So I remember Tommy coming out and saying, oh, i got a chip body, wee. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I mean, that's the sort of food they liked. I mean, it was all mm. crap food. And uh, somebody had called the vet. I don't know who it was, but somebody had called the vet. The vet turned up and he says, uh, oh, yeah. He left the dog where he was. The dog's still alive. He said, no, the dog's still alive. And I was like, oh, it was like hope. 
dog's still alive. Great, that's fantastic. Uh, done a few stitches there and then. So, so he's going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to like get him up to the house. Mm -hmm. I think the dog kind of understood he couldn't lie there on the street, but it was about two, three hours he was lying there, and I was staying with him. And this Mag Maggie Hall, she stayed there as well. Her Aaron Cardigan was covered in blood, dog blood. Right? You can't wash that out of wool. Pure wool, do you know what I mean? You, you can't wash that out of that. So that was that stain for life, but she still wore it after I was, that. I was about to say, she wore around like a... Like a badge of honour, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I helped a fucking dog. Got a bloodstained card, to prove it. Yeah, but... Uh, I think the dog understood he couldn't lie there, and I was talking to the dog all the time, you know, come on, Claire, we've got to go home, we've got to go home, come on, boy. And eventually, he kind of got himself up, and he was, like, really shaky, and he got himself to the house. And the vet had given my mum and my dad some... Uh, painkillers for him. He said, just crush a few up and try and put them down his throat, get him to take them, help with the pain. He gave him an injection and then he slapped a bill, slapped a bill to my mum and dad and it was like, oh God. At the time, I think it was like 50 quid, which was a lot of money back in the 70s. Mm. So, I mean, 78. And uh, I was dead chuffed my dog had survived. He had these stitches. The vet actually turned around and said that the guy with the crowbar had done more damage than what the car did. Oh, you fucking idiot. So, I mean, mm. so if he'd have just left the dog, yeah, he was howling because he was in pain. All that had happened was he'd split his lip. Fucking hell. The guy, but the rest of it was like bang, 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 broken fucking jaw, bang, 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 with a fucking crowbar. Knocked one of his teeth out the back. Fucking, oh, done more damage than the car. Mm. Idiot. Anyway, the dog got better and then, uh, Six months later, got hit by another car. And no, died. six months later, he fucking ran away and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't think he ran away. I think the dog catchers got him actually. And mm. at the time, if your dog was lifted off the street, he was taken to the police station, and they had some uh, kennels at the back of the police station yeah. where they kept stray dogs. And if they weren't claimed within a week, they were taken and <laughs> killed. Nice. Mm. Euthanized. But. I had said the dog's up at the pound and Gran and Pat were like nah we're not going to get him it's too late he won't be there but they wouldn't go up and find him and why I didn't tried you just go up yourself because they wouldn't let me have to be an adult oh. yeah but surely if you've gone up and said you know have you, have you got this dog here they said you have to be with an adult we might have yeah. dogs here Right, listen to what I'm saying. <coughs> Can you just I let me finish that. what I'm saying? Because you get really pissed off when I do it to you. If you'd gone up and said, is this dog here? They could have said, yes, but you need an adult to come and collect it. You could have went home and said, the dog's there. Come and get it. I said the dog was at the pound, didn't I? Right, yeah. Because I had been up and asked, yes, there is a dog of that description, but you can't take him out unless you have an adult with you. So I went back and I said to Gran and Pat, the dog is in the kennels at the police station. And they didn't go and get it? I think there was probably a little charge, a small charge. You had to have a license for a dog back then. Okay. And obviously the black and white license was cheaper. Glenn was a coloured dog. He was golden brown. You know what has, how, did you notice how none of us laughed at yeah. that? That's because you don't remember black and white tellies and having no. Have a but we do, license. we do, we do know that a black and white license is cheaper than a color license for a TV. But, I didn't. But nobody's I got a black no and white license. Nobody's well, we got didn't a black and white telly that. nowadays. Didn't expect you to know that game. They've actually abolished it. The black and white license. It's any TV is the same. Years ago, you could pay twelve pound for a color license, or um, I think it was three pounds for a black and white license. <laughs> you know which one you're going to go for, don't you? So everybody was buying pound. black and white license, right? But practically everybody had a colour telly in the late 70s. I, I remember having a black and white telly in the early 70s. And the first time we had the colour telly, it had three buttons on it, and it was ace. And the, the turny ones? No, three buttons that you pushed in. Because oh. the telly before that, it was like a, a radio dial. Yeah. You tuned in to the station black and white one but uh, there was jokes around at the time saying that, yeah got a dog license it's 37 pence at the time 
If you didn't have a dog license, you could be fined a hundred pound. What? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Why would you not have one if it's only thirty-seven pence? It's just well, I don't know. Thirty-seven pence could probably get you half a car back then. <laughs> Almost a hundred pound going to get you a mansion, a fucking bank of England. Loads of half a car. Yes. <laughs> nah, thirty-seven pence back then. Oh, what are we on? An hour and a half. Our asses. Thank you for that. What time are we on? An hour and a half. Right. Thanks to Dave's riveting story. I enjoyed that. was that a good story, story yeah. That yeah. was probably the best bit of the whole <laughs> That is the best thing that's happened to the podcast. His ever. name was Glenn. R.I.P. Glenn. I miss you, buddy. Oh, I miss Buddy as well. Yeah, I was about to say, Buddy's <laughs> dead as well. Damn. They had a dog called Buddy. Yeah. And there was a cat that sat on the end of the couch, on like the arm <laughs> where you're leaning. That was Tat. And every time Buddy walked past, you'd swing for him. And uh, one time, she swung for him. He. He swung for him. And got his claw stuck in Buddy's nose. Not both just, just one time, practically every time. But there was one time and it stuck, got stuck, and they just both looked at each other as if to say, "Fuck, what do we do now?" <laughs> and, and Buddy was like, "Don't you dare fucking move!" The dog was just stood there like that with his nose towards the cat, as if to say, "If I move, you're gonna rip my lip off." And nose. the cat's like, "Well, I can't retract my claw right at this angle because I'm lying down. I need to stand up." <laughs> <laughs> It's quite funny. It's just one of them. <laughs> Mexican standoff. Who moves first? It used to happen quite regular. Buddy would get his nose caught by the cat. And quite regular, he would get his lip stuck. Mostly it would be his nose. And you could tell that he'd been going to sniff the cats to say hello. Because that's what dogs do. They sniff yeah. to say hello. But this one particular cat, Tat, Didn't like wasn't him. keen on Buddy sniffing him at all. Button was all right. And that was Tat's brother. Misty was kind of okay. That was Tat's, Tat and Button's sister. They were okay-ish. Button was fine by it. Do you know what I mean? He really wouldn't care. He would just lie on Buddy's bed. As soon as Buddy got off it, Button would jump on it because he knew it was the warmest place because Buddy had just got off it. Buddy was a big dog. Buddy would come back in. He was a doberman. Do you know what I mean? And Button wasn't much bigger than him. My sister Stacy once um, stuck her finger up Buddy's bum. Yeah, because she didn't know what it was. What's that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a note to it. Yeah. But Buddy used to come back uh, from going out the back for a, for a pee or whatever. And Button would be on his bed. And rather than just go over and sort of like intimidate the cat, he would look around as if to say, uh, uh, um, excuse me, he's on my, on my bed. Can you help me? And then he would just like sit down and then lie down on the carpet beside his bed because he didn't want to move the cat. But... When Brian was there, my brother who lives in Australia, it was his dog. He would just, and the, and the dog would do whatever he, would, magically the dog would know what Brian was on about. And uh, the dog would do it, like usually it would be in his bed, because he'd, he'd point and the dog, would, if he went like that and pointed over there, the dog would go over there, but he'd point at the bed. And the dog would do his utmost to get there as quick as possible, because Brian was quite strict with the dog, do you know what I mean? If he didn't do something, he would, you know, he would. He was a bloody bastard, Mike. He was quite nasty to the dog sometimes. And I used to say, that's Brian, for God's sake, like, shut up, it's my dog, I've got to train him. So I had to step back. It was bordering on cruelty, right? Put it that way. But clicked his fingers, the dog, like, jumped onto the bed, the cat went boing. You know that thing they do where they, they jump off the bed on that, like the cushion, the, the kid jumps yeah. up like that. Oh, it was a bit like that, it was funny as fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Fantastic. Can imagine. We could literally record another intro for Dave's stories. Yeah. And then just have it as released as two podcasts. Yeah, we could. Well, well that's that only two stories. Doesn't mean it's like half an hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was half an hour of right, our lives. Do this outro. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the stories. I really like them. Yeah. yeah. Another one. Here we go. No. Well, Fuck I'll off. Leave it. <laughs> nah, leave <the> next time. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Good. Right. At Sid963 on Twitter. At Derpy Gagan on Twitter. Stand up. This is the most can stand up. I've ever <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anybody's. King McDade on Twitter. Oh, that's the one the I know. King McDade. The King McDade shit. Which leaves Dave's with his own. <laughs> which, yeah. I, which I don't even know. <laughs> At the King that. McDade. <laughs> Dave underscore still. Dave, Dave underscore still Dave. There you go. Right. At Derpy Gagan. Season a bit. But. Go have a bath.
Čau. Don't lie. <laughs>